Okay, we've got a no cooling call. And this customer says, we have been to this house before and he knows it needs to be replaced. But he does not want to replace it. He's selling his house as is. And so, I'm gonna go see what we can find wrong and see if we can get him back going. Let's take a look. Right, he's got some sort of situation with a dog or whatever, but uh, I told him to cut it on and tell me if it's blowing in the house or not. And I think somebody's been here. I heard a click in here. Let's go ahead and open this. And we know it's old as heck, but we're in the house like literally less than two weeks more. So we were hoping anything could just come in. We have got no voltage. We got 120 from either leg bleeding through, but no incoming 240. Let's go see where the breaker is. So, whoever the run cap bandit was, just laid all that in there, but. I bet you this is where our problem is. Nothing. And 240 at the top. So, I'm gonna bet one of those fuses is bad. Let's see what happens. Turn on the dummy beep. That one is dead. That one appears to be good. Dead. We sold the house as is, but at the time, like on the disclosure thing with the AC, it said, we said, it's old. It's not efficient, but it does work. Um, yeah. Now it doesn't work. So I got I to gotta give them uh, something. Yeah. After closer inspection, looks like somebody lost. A little pull out. 
<coughs> for the disconnect. So we're just gonna put up a whole new box here. It doesn't need to be fused. So let's go ahead and do that right quick and we'll be done. All right, so they don't wanna spend any money at all that they don't have to. So I was able to at least make this a little better by remounting the metal one and just we'll let the hard start lay in there, plastic. I feel a little better about reversing the position of those two, but let's go see if it starts up now with the fuses replaced. So once I saw I couldn't pull the disconnect, I just decided that was too creepy for me. So I came around here and flipped off the breaker. So let's go back now and see. So once we're up and running, should be okay. Okay, well, I offered to replace the disconnect box and actually, uh, I actually uh, suggested, you know, that we replace it. And the guy didn't want anything to do with that. Said the house is going as is, so not sure if he's selling it or leaving it or what's happening there, but nonetheless, uh, we just stuck new fuses in it. Only one of them was bad, but they come in little pairs of two if you've seen how you buy them. Um, so nonetheless, that was all the guy wanted and uh, did not want it fixed, didn't want it fixed right, didn't want to be able to service it or didn't care about any of that. So I had to leave it just as you saw it. Um, looks like somebody has cut a couple of short pieces of 10 gauge, maybe eight gauge, but it looked like 10 gauge, looked like a couple pieces out of a 10-3 oven wire, you know, stove wire. And made them a couple of little U-shaped pieces and shoved in there where they lost or broke the uh, pullout for the disconnect. He did not want it fixed, did not want it replaced, didn't want to have to spend anything at all that he didn't have to. So, you know, we just do what we're hired to do. I would have rather replaced that box on the wall and done it right. And uh, So we did remount the one capacitor and I let the plastic coated, uh, you know, the plastic covered hard start just lay in there. When I got there, you saw how they were. They were the other way around and the metal one was flopping around where it could get up next to the contactor if it so desired, but evidently that had been okay. It looked like it had been in there for quite a while. Um, he said we had been there before. But, uh, you know, I'm not sure, I, I don't remember. It might've been one of my guys, but nonetheless, Let's go to the next one. Thanks for watching.